YouTube. Let's talk about the Walther Rain UXT PCP air rifle, bullpup air rifle. It's a really nice air rifle. This one's in 25 caliber. The specs on it say it shoots about 870 feet a second. I've done some chronograph results and I'll show in a little bit. And I'm not quite getting 870, but it's still respective around the 850. I think when I'm maxed out at 860-ish. But I was shooting a uh, this pellet, 25.4 grain pellet. And I was also shooting them into this piece of wood. So it's just burying them into this two by six. And as it goes, it starts to blow them out the back. And you can kind of see what it's doing, cracking it. It's a really powerful air rifle. So in general, this air rifle is about 32 and three quarter inches long. It weighs about 7.8 pounds with this optic on it. A really nice feature about this air rifle is the cocking lever being right here. So when you're shooting, you simply just grab it here, pull it back, and that's it. Where some of the bullpup have their um, cocking mechanism right here. So you, you shoot, you have to come this far back and pull it back and, and you know, and cock it. You know, not ex incredibly difficult, but certainly not as convenient as just having your, my fingers on it right there, trigger, cocking lever, boom, pow, you know, so you can go right back into action. This particular air rifle has a, comes with a magazine that holds nine rounds. The magazine's really easy to load. It doesn't require any pre-winding. This is the back side that'll face you. You don't have to do any pre-winding, like I said. Just drop a pellet in, rotate it, drop a pellet in, rotate it, drop a pellet in, rotate it, etc. And if you see right inside there, there's a little um, square tab sticking out, which holds the pellet in from falling out when you're loading it. When you actually insert this into the back of the rifle, this little silver pin here gets pushed back and it opens up the hole completely so the pellet can be inserted into the chamber. But really good little magazines. They hold nine pellets. My experience with this is you're gonna get about three magazines in the peak range. So that's what, 27 shots? And Walther's website says in the 25 caliber range, you're gonna get about 40 shots. So from the first shot to the 40 shot, who knows the kind of range you get in performance. But about three of those magazines are going to be right around your peak performance and i'm going to say you know depending on your the grain weight of your pellet but like with these i'm shooting somewhere in the mid eights you know a few maybe a little less a few maybe a little more but somewhere in that general range i'll crunch the numbers and show you the results that i got so at least know the average but once again a really fun little pellet rifle to shoot um it does require its own provided Field probe insert there that's provided with the rifle. This end is not, so you have to get one of these when you get it to make sure it'll fit on the end of your whip, which obviously this thing right here is stuck to the end of a, uh, a PCP tank. I did a review on the, uh, on the PCP tank, and you can see how that all works, but it's pretty simple here on this Walther. You have a pin right here next to the, uh, the pressure gauge, probably at about the uh, 11 o'clock position. Simply just pull it out. That's the pin right there. You insert the field probe. This end's already connected to the tank. You slowly crack the, uh, the nozzle on the tank and let the, uh, the gauge start moving slowly. Close the valve on the tank. Turn the bleed valve and you'll hear the classic Psh! and you know you're safe. Then pull this out and you're ready to go. And then take your pin and insert it back in. This, in my opinion, is more of a faux suppressor. I don't think anyone's claimed that it is a, any kind of a noise reduction device. When I take it outside and shoot it, which I'll include some of that footage in this video, I'll put the, uh, the decibel meter out there so we can listen to it and see what kind of sound we get from it. It's not, it's not excessively loud, but it's you know, not quiet either. But depending on what kind of backyard you have or where you live, it's to some degree in certain situations, it's going to definitely be backyard friendly. But I mean, if your houses almost touch each other and you see your neighbor, you know, standing in your backyard, you know, 80 feet away, you know, depending on how your neighbors feel about certain activities, it may not be neighbor friendly. So anyway, you can make that call when you hear it 
and see what the decimals are. But once again, a really fun little PCP air rifle in 25 caliber. I mean, it's got some pretty serious power and it's got good accuracy. I'll do a separate video about this cheap optic. It's a fixed three and a half power prism scope. So I like it because it's short and compact and it just does what I need to do for the distances that I'm going to shoot this rifle at. It's got three and a half power is plenty. And from my experience shooting it, it's very precise and, and accurate. So I'm going to demonstrate that here in just a little bit, at least accuracy for my liking. I don't know what you know, your preference may be different than mine and may not be good enough for you, but this scope is right around 65 to $80. You can find different versions of them at different prices. It's literally a no name scope. Let me make sure I'm not saying that incorrectly. Yeah, it has, it has no name on it whatsoever. But if you search prism scope on eBay or Amazon, you'll see some of these no names. It does have an illuminated reticle on it, which makes it nice if you're out shooting in low light. But once again, the Walther Rain UXT and 25 caliber, it's a fun rifle. I think you'll really like it. All right, stay tuned and show you the chronograph and some outside shooting. I didn't get the first shot there of 826, but that was the first reading. And then I recorded 10 more shots, so 11 in total. If you take the average of the total 11 shots, it was 829. But if you look at the first five shots, that average is 808. And the last six shots is 847. So like I said, this, this rifle starts to hit a sweet spot. After you get down past your first magazine, then you're going to see the velocity start to increase. So just because you have a, a full reservoir of air where it's near the red line on the meter doesn't mean you're going to get your most powerful shots. After about one magazine, you'll start to see higher velocities. Here you can see the back of the tube of six I was shooting had started blowing it out. And actually I dig out one of the pellets here. It's got a pretty nice compression, a little bit of expansion, flattened out nicely.